That's so good. <laughs> oh. Fussy ass. What's this? I'm rusty, all right? <laughs> Running a little early this morning. Still quite dark. The boys from the bait shop Gold Coast will be here pretty soon. We've got Paul and Jack on board today. So they're going to show me a little bit around the seaway and out from the seaway, we'll chase some tuna. Uh, we'll chase some bottom fish at the start, some squire and sweet lip and stuff like that. And um, then we'll chase some pelagics a bit later. I'll wait here a bit longer from turn up and um, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We have a fish. It is not big. <laughs> what do we got? Flatty. A flat dog. Great. I hate flooded. Oh, that's that's what I like flooded. That's yeah. my preferred flooded handling technique. Is this? Get out of the boat. Yes, that's that's how you handle flooded. All right, Jack's in. We might have to go in front of it better. Yep. Wow, it knows where to go, doesn't it? All right, fast winding. Keep going a bit more. You got off the bottom at all, you reckon? Yeah, straight up. Okay. Up. Nice work, Jack. I'll get that out. Really small hit, but eh? Yeah, right. I'll get it. Oh, oh no! What? Heartbreak. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it just pulled out. Yeah. That was. That's unlucky. A it's like heartbreak, mate. Just move the teeth in the jig. Yeah, it's snappers for sure. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's horrible. That's really unlucky, man. Yeah. Yeah, that oh, would that have been, was 60. No, nah, not not even. That would have been really? 45, maybe. They go. I don't know why they go so hard here. Wow. But yeah, no, that's pretty standard. I'm gonna be in trouble in three pound then. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you'll see what I mean. Like if you you'll get a 30 and you'll know exactly what I mean. Like they go they go so much harder here than every, anywhere else. Yeah, we got one. Oh, are you kidding me? Did he I think he busted me off. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Should I be uh not picking Yeah, you reckon? Horrible. Wow. They'll eat the snappers, won't they? Oh, they're out of here. See you later. Oh, 
forward doing backflips. There's probably a free out there. Yeah, there's Someone's hitting the jig. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. That's how you catch them. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. First car. Straight yeah, on. Dog. Yeah, car. Ow. Should have just left that down there, shouldn't I? Yeah, this is not happening. Two from two, oh, and now I'm retiring. Two best fish you can get. <laughs> <laughs> All right, jig's going away. Um, I'll you five of them. You do a little little video don't together. Need five of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah. All right, Jack's in. The Mosey Perch. So small. That's a fat Moses. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> It's not big. Not big. It's like a little trevally or something. Grassy. Yeah. You can get deadlift up? Yep. Oh, I'm using a little blade. Oop. Seem to work on a small grass. Grassy. Some weed. Other big grass. What I reckon. Yep. Hey, did you get any bigger ones here? Yeah, I got a four. My first one here was a forty-eight. Oh wow, that's Average a really good fish. Forty-two, yeah. Like we get heaps of forty-twos. I think it'll be thirty centimeters 30, to be legal. Yeah. So you know, and they're really good eating. Yeah. No, we get heaps of Okay. Paul's going to catch a fish now, yeah. he's due. Jack's in and Jack's off. Come on. Yep, there we go. We got one. We got a double. This one hasn't even taken any drag yet. Look at my rods is shaking. 
Oh, there's like 30 pound leader on it. It's like 30 and 30, I think. Oh, we're about to cross swords, look out. So what have I got here? What am I fishing with? Uh, we have the Todd Ignition medal there. Yeah. We've got an yeah, Amp 3. There. <laughs> oh, there's a little Mac tuner, I think. Oh, no, get away from his line. <laughs> <laughs> We've got issues with line here. Oh, I'll give you a hug, Paul. I don't mind hug, hug. <laughs> Wee. <sighs> Tiny little hooks on this side, just. Oh, Neff. You got a mackerel. I actually think I've got a mackerel. You've yeah. got a bigger fish. I, I don't think I have one. Because that's 30 pound litre. But it's not the same as a normal... Very small juvenile Mac tuna. Got the uh, high rises in the background, the Gold Coast. We're just out front of the uh, the seaway here. Paul's been getting to a few fish who so have come out here to have a bit of a look around. And I think he's probably hooked it in the tail would probably be my guess. That's why he's playing up, I reckon. He's tail hooked a... I did let it sink down. So I threw a little mini dax, a little palms there. It's a little 14 like gram. You've got a bigger one than me. Oh, he ate it. Hey. Oh, he tricked you. Hey. Gotcha. All right. That's a bit better. All right, so that's the bait they're eating. Little, what would you call that, Paul? You're you're the bait expert from the bait shop Gold Coast. That's What's it. what kind of bait's that, mate? That is a baby frog mouth. Oh, it's a white bait slash froggy. That's oh, froggy. That yeah, is okay. A frog mouth, hundred percent. Well, I hope I hope it is because he really does know nah, his bait. No, it's froggy. You see the <laughs> see the mouth on it. Yep. Uh huh. You see the mouth, frog mouth. So if you're going out and you want to, a lot of the boys down south, they want the bait uh, a lure bait that's close to that. Yeah. Bait. So it's just taking all the scales off inside. Let's thing. have a look at the colour of that lure. That's that's that silver with that glitter through it. So it's very much a replication of the the coloration of the lure, of the bait fish. Okay. Now, that's a bit better size, probably up around that sort of two three kilo mark or so. Oops. VMC treble on those ones. So it's a pretty strong treble. What's that? All right. You're not keeping any of these for crab bait or no. trying any sashimi. No. Off he goes. Fly rod challenge here coming up, I think. <sighs> yeah, let's put a little bit of a leader on that and a little fly and we'll see if we can get one off fly. All right, stay tuned. Almost. How heavy a line we got here, Jack? Ten. Ten pound? <laughs> Bit sporting. The three kilo Mac tuna, I reckon. Hey? Yeah. Twelve pound, yeah. No, this pulled it the other day. So, yeah. Yep, there you go. Another Mac tuna. These are right through to winter, aren't they? 
full of next tuna. Yeah, yeah. Depends on weather. Well, it's been weird this year. So, very weird. You want to take it home for mum, mate? No, <laughs> oh, I don't think. Oh, mum would be too stoked. There's a stitch up. He's not quite ready. God, it's hard to push this big net through the water. Yeah. Come on, muscles. Oh, big fish for the net. Check <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the water off. There you go, Jack. You're doing good, buddy. Mm. Make a tea. Oh, well. Should we uh, try for a Jew? Yeah. Where do you want to try some Jew? At the wall. Yeah. We'll have a look. <laughs> what do we got here? It's coming sideways, it's not good. Yeah, a little squire. On the jig. There you go. So that's that little 10 gram squire on jig. What have you got a 10 gram what? A 14 gram? Uh, Palms Mini Dax, it's called. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> it comes with a, a small but strong rear treble and then you've got like a single sort of stronger assist off the front. Yeah, so I want to ask you a question while you're yep. talking about palms. So I've got the palms, the slow blacks yep. at the shop. Yeah. So could someone come out here and use this, uh, those the, the slow yeah. blacks here? Yeah, I reckon so. so and can you, can you explain to people the difference between those and these? All right, so slow blat is uh, like an oval sort of shaped jig. So it's got a different descent, uh, whereas this is a skinnier profile. So it's got a, so these will sink pretty much straight, but like shimmy. And then a, an oval sort of slow blat will have more of a rock and roll, slower so descent. So one comes down like a pill tube. One yeah. Comes, yeah. That's probably a 30 something centimetre squire, not not legal size, but good fun right here in the seaway uh, with busy boats driving past regularly. Pop them back in. See you later, squire. I spoke to you the other day about the difference between uh, your normal monos and your slow blacks. Yeah. Uh, so give me a all right well in a leader yeah. perspective yeah, with like leader perspective with nylon versus fluorocarbon is fluorocarbon is we all use it because it's you know less visible in water as we say um, a lot of people say it's invisible but it's technically just less visible um, so it refracts light or bends light in a similar direction to what water does so when the the water hits, the light hits it, water, it, it will bend it in a certain direction and fluorocarbon has a very similar index or, or refraction uh, direction. So it bends light in a similar direction, so therefore passes through it and looks more like water. So what's, um, it, what's uh, the fluoro that you're using, Jack? Blackstream. Yeah, well, Blackstream. So Blackstream is designed with colour in it um, so that it doesn't have a shine on it. When the sun hits it, it doesn't have a shine on it. It's, it's, uh, it absorbs that shine basically. So it's even less visible in water again. Yes. Um, that can really depend on the color of the water too, a lot of time as well. Um, especially we've got some other stuff called uh, uh, Super Sniper, which is a camo line. It's like green and brown, it changes color. And that's designed to be used in fresh water, so it blends in with weed and stuff like that. Um, so specifically coloured for specific types of applications, basically. Uh, it obviously, it costs more to do all that, and some of those leaders are quite expensive. Yeah, well, the black is very expensive. Very expensive, but like I said to a few of the customers, Jack says it catches twice the amount of fish. Yeah. And sometimes it catches three times the amount of fish. Yeah. Well, here we go super clear, super high pressured fish it's those little things that can make a big difference and uh like a lure a lot of people are willing to spend a lot of money on a good lure these days but they haven't really trans translated that a lot to leader um, which is kind of a shame because people buy on value for money and stuff like that but look if it's like a lure and you think it's got a chance of of uh you know whew, oh, keeper. a little yakka that's a slimy mackerel isn't it I can't see it. No, that's a that's um, a different. That's a 
What the heck is that? No, that's, oh, it's like a mixture. I can't, is it a horse mackerel? A horse mackerel. Horse mackerel. Yeah, 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 it's probably what it is. Uh, so yeah, so, so people are willing to spend 30, $35 on a lure because they, they feel like that lure's got a, a better chance of, of catching a fish, but a lot of people are still buying the cheapest possible leader because they think, oh, well, that's all right. But you're taking your fishing to that degree, you should take all parts of your you know, application, whether it's the, the braid, the, the, the leader, um, the lure, the hooks, whatever it is, Obviously the better quality, the better results you're gonna have and leader can play a huge difference into it in my opinion. And yeah, very overlooked. Uh, you guys have got a really good range of, of sunline in the shop. You've got by far the best range on the Gold Coast. You'd have to go a long way to find a better range of sunline uh, leaders in the store to be honest. And um, yeah, those little things sometimes can make a huge difference. And until you, you, know, you get convinced by someone that that's the case, uh, you know, I've said to a few of the customers, they've asked a bit of a I've asked a bit of a lecture, and I've said, look, Jack Patrick said he actually swears by catching twice the amount of fish on it. And I said, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And I said, oh, go give it a go. And they, they'd, they'd come back and they'd be giving it a go. And one of them comes back and he goes, oh, that leader. I said, oh, oh, what happened? And he, and he goes, I've got three times the amount of fish. I said, I've got three times the amount of fish. He goes, yeah. <laughs> Got three times the amount of fish. He goes, I don't know if it's a leader. I was like, he was like, oh, okay. He goes, but I haven't had a session like that in the last three years. I'll just yeah, right. So, but now he's sold on. That's what he uses. Yeah. Just yeah. like that. Yeah. So, and he's he's one of those customers. But you just explained it perfectly. He's got all. He's got custom made rods. Yeah. He's got all the good rules. But why wouldn't you use the best leader? That's the question I ask. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, well, you know, why would you just go, oh, that, you know, this stuff's cheap and it's, and, you know, good and, value, but and, yeah, okay. And, and Jack had to talk me into getting it into the store. Hey, Jack. <laughs> For a long time. For a long time. And you didn't have it in the store. You, you yeah, know. well, you guys were the, the catalyst to, <laughs> to stocking it, to be honest. So, yeah. Yeah, so, and I was like, oh. I was like, it's so, it's so expensive. But it's, Jack was like, but it's so good. <laughs> Well, I mean, the other big thing that people have looked to is the inception of, of FG knots. So back, you know, 10 years ago, and we're all tying all brights or slim beauties or that, you know, we'd snag the bottom and you'd bust the whole leader off every time kind of thing. But with the inception of leader knots, you know, I'll go, you know, quite a long time now without tying a full leader. You're bust, busting off the jig head or the lure a lot of time because that FG knot is a lot slimmer. It doesn't deteriorate with casting. Um, and it's a stronger knot, so it stays on uh, longer. Um, so if your lead is lasting you, you know, longer, why not then spend more on the actual leader material you've got? So that black stream, there's a, 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 a graph that they show which gives uh, a rating on all the different properties that a leader has. So you've got uh, knot strength, um, abrasion resistance, stretch, um, you know, those sort of factors on it. And basically the black stream has uh, second to highest rating on all across the board. So for an all round leader, it ticks the boxes on every sort of level. Whereas some of the other leaders we've got might be um, excellent uh, abrasion resistance, but, but poor in stretch. So, all right, let's go. Let's go have a look at the wreck. Let's go. Have... Yeah, it's just, uh, we just went over the ledge there. You touched it, you go. Yeah, Jack's got one, I reckon. Maybe not. For him. Oh, fish off the wreck. Little spotted grunter or a bard? Spotted, isn't it? Was he like in, right, where, in it. right in it? Okay. I've got fish on the scan here too near this beacon, I think. On the back of it. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Someone's got to do it, mate. <laughs> yeah, it didn't have to be you. 
and it wasn't gonna be me. <laughs> Yep, I'm on. Oh, double! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm in, oh, I've got a jack. I've got a jack, I reckon. Not so good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Far out, man. That was a big fish, eh? Did you see it rubbing? At the end, I could, yeah. There's a lot of people to understand, eh, with fluorocarbon straight through. It's a lot different to like braid to a litre. So do you have the, the, you don't have the Grab the line. I've got I've got the stretch, yeah. He's got a fish. Nice man, well done. Good stuff. So feel feel that. Yeah. That's a fair bit of pressure, eh? Yeah. I think I hooked a jack, man. Cause that just went straight back in. That wasn't even like looking like going anywhere else but back in. All right, there they are. Something going on here. <coughs> you found them. Okay. Yeah, I think. See them there on the screen. Them. Yep. Yep, got it. Yep. I've seen him out there, eh? I think the battery might be dead on that. Oh, it's uh, Trevally. A uh, bunch of fish to, just to your left. Yeah, just to your left, mate. Yeah. Bunch of fish to my right. Geez, both sides, they're coming through pretty. Moving around quickly. Oh, ho, ho. whole bunch on the front scan just out to the right there. That'll be those Trevally school. Moving quick. And going from one end of the boat to the other pretty fast. There's a whole bunch of fish there. Look at that. Massive water fish just to the right there. Yep. Oh, I dropped him. Yeah, that's a Trevally. Yeah, see the head shake? Yeah. Can it bust me on anything out there? No. No, no we're sweet here, we're sand. Ten, pound, yeah, 10 or 12? 10 or 12 pounds of Eight. Eight pounds of Yeah, it was 10 bucks. See the fish coming through the center now? That's, that'll be with his fish. It's, mine's out there. You reckon it's further out? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Might get eaten by a shark. Yeah. That big two meter one? Yeah. Yep, come on. Oh, double hook up. <laughs> Another Trevally? Yeah. I got the heavy gear though. Look at the school, mate. Look at the school. All right, this is pretty cool. So I'm just pulling that fish in and look at that school of uh, Trevally there. A lot. All right, Jack's got me on size. Little beer while grub in the corner of mouth there. Jack was a crabby, I think. Yeah. Swallowed it right down. Yeah. Found the school in the sounder and we dropped down and got both of them. So. Now I just have to ask you one question, Peter. Why didn't you get one? No, I've not. Okay. I'm, I'm not that professional. <laughs> Now, what leader are you using, mate? I'm using a 16 pound Blackstream leader. Oh, you actually using oh, I am actually leader. using 16 pound Blackstream leader. <laughs> what, what, what are you using? 10 pound Blackstream. Okay, there you go. Size does count. But, uh, size does matter. That's size it. Does <laughs> All right, I'm seeing a few more on the yeah, sounder. I'm going to pop this one in and we're going to catch let's, another one. Let's, get it. let's go for a triple. Right, yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it's been hard to get on the Gruncher on the mini dax. That's pretty cool. Yeah. These little jigs catch everything, eh? All right, so we've got another species on the mini dax, a barred grunter. I don't know enough about them. 
That's a barred grunter, I think yeah. you find. Yeah, so this is minimum 38 centimeter legal size. Spotted's have got more lots of little dots across here. Uh, 38, I'm pretty sure, for a bard. Uh, spotted is 30 centimetres. Yeah, okay. So, that's cool. On the jig. I will say, I do struggle with this sort of full stop. What you actually thought. Yeah, I yeah. I don't do any of them. I, I'm, I'm a little rusty, to be honest, because I, I, I haven't... Yeah. What's this? I'm rusty, all right? <laughs> <laughs> that's actually quite funny. <laughs> what a hot little body, guys. I should bring more rollies. More luck. I don't know about Yep, another Trevally. So, literally, the next cast after getting that. Uh, it was only because I sent it. Yeah. The next cast after getting that grunner, we've got a little Trevally. So we're going with a GT with this, aren't we? Not a big eye. Just that little assist on the front's got him. Looks like he was momentarily oh, hooked he was across only, here. Only just in. Now you can eat these. Yeah. If you want to. Those. And you know why he was momentarily Hooked. Oh. <laughs> this is why mm. he was momentarily hooked. He straightened it. Have a look at that. He straightened it out. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good eating size, wouldn't it? Around that sort of Perfect. kilo size you can or something. Just, you can, Up you, to have two you ever, kilos. Have you ever steamed them? No, I always crumb them. Yeah. yeah Quite nice. All right. I'll pop that guy back in. There's Paradise Point just there, guys. We're not giving away any secret spots here. We're just basically sitting on the edge of a sandbank. And there's obviously a heap of bait holding some fish here. So... Passing up along the current, but I'm rusty, so. <laughs> but yeah, dropping down that lure size and everything, you got to get your your bearings right with it again. Oh yep, yep. Rusty's on. Rusty's back. Come on, Rusty. Oh, oh! Did you hear the sound of that? Bust yeah, bit. Yeah, but did you hear the? Oh, it must have been a tarp on. Yeah. That must have been one of the tarp ones, eh? Better. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Good. Yep, I got oh. not. I've got to go. Peter's on. We're on YouTube. Oh, doubles. Oh, this is just sucks. Sorry, what sucks? I've <laughs> got a Trevally. I got a brim. Jeez, we're oh. catching everything in this spot. Do you like my spot? This is my my secret spot. The sandbank. Okay, I have to be in your secret sandbank spot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sound it doesn't even pick up on the mic. I have to be honest with you, I've been here two other times and this is exactly how it felt the last time. Right. The last two times I came here, this is exactly what happened. Everyone else caught the fish. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what happened. That's a big eye. That's a big eye, that one, yeah. That's a big eye. Alright. So we've got another color mini dax on and that's working a treat little tinsel on the yeah, assist hook it, another clam can you hold it up to the camera please i want to <laughs> yeah. is that your yeah, pb Big eye Trevally, bigger eye, bit more black, bit darker, different shaped head slightly. Jack's on again. That looks like more like a grunner again, I think. Brim. Yep, got him. Oh, tarp on. He jumped out of the water. Oh, look at that. Oh, he threw the lure. That was cool. Oh, oh, yeah, back, here we go, oh, I think maybe a tarp on, it's up on the surface, stay on baby, oh no, it's a Trevally, it is a Trevally, I hooked him in the head, oh no, I hooked him in the mouth. Yeah. 
Uh, big eye. Yes, Jack's on. What are we calling Jack? Another broom, mate? Grunter. grunter. Yeah, barred grunter. Definitely barred grunter. Okay, uh... Oh, 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 Okay. That was gold. <laughs> yep. Okay. Cool. Oh, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. This is the first one I've caught on a rod. It's a good tarpon. All right. Come on. Up, up, up. Tarpon, up. So he's just got to be annoying to catch fish. It's very sweet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh. No. That's it. Oh, you're kidding me. Let's go for it. Here you get him. That's it. Oh, oh yes! <laughs> That's good. <laughs> right on it. Well done. That awesome. <laughs> That's a good size. That's a really good fish. Popped out. Lowe's popped out. I told you. Cool. Well done, mate. Tarp on oh, about 50 yeah. centimeters. How's that? First nice. Tarp on the rod. On the little slug. That's little awesome. TT hardcore. I oh, know, little Gillies bait little fish, I think. Gillies bait fish. How they cool with that extra little filament there? That's awesome. All right. Good little fun. Cool. Now, a little backstory to this. How did I catch this? Uh, annoying me by tapping me. <laughs> he's tapping me on the ear like this with the rod, and then he's hooked up, and yeah. it's he's touching gold. You see, you got to touch gold with the rod. Whatever, and then... <laughs> whatever, whatever, Rusty. Anyway, let's do that. Pop him back in. Off you go, tarpons. All right, about to head uh, over near Sovereign Island now, which is just over there. So it gives you an idea of where we're fishing. So today's been pretty cool. We've got some Mac tuna at the front. Uh, got a few bits and pieces fishing reef seaway there on little plastics and stuff like that. Um, I got railed. Jack got railed. On a, well, actually, he pulled the hook out on a really good fish early. And um, then I got smoked by Jack on that boat just over there before. Bit of, bit of trevally action here, tarp on. A bit of everything. It's been pretty good. So we're going to hit one more spot on the way back and uh, hopefully we pull a few just have to give you this grunter. Oh. All right, we'll go hit that last spot and see how we go. All right, just heading to the boat ramp now. A big thanks to Paul and Jack from the, the bait shop Gold Coast. And I've had a pretty good day out, caught a heap of fish. Um, yeah, big thanks to the guys showing us around hey, and getting a few fish. Thanks for having us, Peter. Really enjoyed it. It's always good to have um, old Rusty with us. Uh, yeah. And Noodles next to us. <laughs> so, <laughs> had a really good day and um, pity we couldn't get that bloody Mackie on fly. Yeah, we didn't get that Mac tuna on fly, so we'll, maybe we'll have to go out and try and do it again. So, all right, we'll catch you next time. Cheers, guys.